When a molecule such as 4-chlorotoluene is reacted with a powerful base such as sodium amide and ammonia as the solvent, two regioisomeric products are formed. That two products are generated indicates that this is not simply a direct substitution process, and this reaction is known to involve a unique reactive intermediate known as benzene. The mechanism is quite different to either electrophilic aromatic substitution or nucleophilic aromatic substitution. Here, the base deprotonates the aromatic cycle beta to the halogen leaving group to give an anion which undergoes elimination to produce a very strained alkyne intermediate known as benzene. The very strained triple bond then reacts with the nucleophile or either carbon of the alkyne to give, after quenching, the radioisomeric products. The first step in the mechanism is the deprotonation beta to the electron withdrawing halogen leaving group to produce the highly reactive conjugate base. This anion then collapses with loss of the leaving group to produce the benzene intermediate, which is unsymmetrical due to the methyl group attached. Nucleophilic attack on the benzene may then occur at either carbon, so two regioisomeric carbanions are formed. Quenching of the reaction mixture then neutralizes the anions and two isomers result. The presence of the methyl group is used to prove that this is not a direct nucleophilic substitution and must involve an intermediate species. The reaction between a halobenzene and a very powerful base results in substitution products, with the mechanism being known to go through a highly strained alkyne intermediate known as benzene. 